Hi, everyone. My name is Adalis French, and I'm a graduate student in speech language pathology at the University of Illinois. Today, I will be doing a speech language lesson with a book called The Colors of Us by Karen Katz. The Colors of Us presents a positive and affirming representation of skin color, no matter someone's skin tone. The book is a celebration of the many beautiful physical similarities and differences that connect us as a people. Today, we will be using socio-emotional learning, a process of helping kids understand and process their emotions to target language. I hope you enjoy. Let me share my screen with you so that we can enjoy this book. One moment. The Colors of Us by Karen Katz. My name is Lena and I am seven. I am the color of cinnamon. Mom says she could eat me up. My mom's the color of French toast. She's an artist. Mom's teaching me how to mix colors. She says that if I mix red, yellow, black, and white paints in the right combination, I will have the right brown for a picture of me. The right brown? But mom, brown is brown, I say. That's not so, mom says. There are lots of different shades of brown. Let's take a walk, we'll see. We go to the playground where we see my friend Sonia. Sonia is a light yellow brown, mom says. Just like creamy peanut butter, I say. My favorite. Isabella is chocolate brown, like the cupcakes we had for her birthday. Friends, my favorite dessert are cupcakes. What is your favorite dessert? Lucy has skin that's peachy and tan. My best friend, Jojen, lives close to the playground. Jojen is the color of honey. Two streets over, we meet my cousin Kyle. His skin is reddish brown, like leaves in the fall. Carlos and Rosita have brought their new puppy to the park. Carlos is a light cocoa brown, and Rosita's skin looks like butterscotch. When we pass by the pizza parlor, mom and I see Mr. Pellegrino flipping a pizza high in the air. He is the color of pizza crust, a golden brown. My babysitter Candy is like a beautiful jewel, bronze and amber. She looks like a princess. These colors are all so yummy. Even though they are different, they can all be delicious. Mom and I walk to the park to eat our lunch. Look at everyone's legs, Mom. All the different shades that can all be beautiful. After lunch, we walk to my mom's favorite store where Mr. Kashmir sells many different spices. He is the color of ginger and chili powder. Up the street, is by Aunt Kathy's laundromat. Aunt Kathy is tawny tan like coconuts and coffee toffee. After our walk, my friends come over. We take our towels to the roof and lie in the sun. I think about everyone I saw today. Sonia, Isabella, Lucy, Jojen, and Kyle, Carlos and Rosita, Mr. Pellegrino and Candy, Mr. Kashmir and Aunt Kathy, each one of them a beautiful color. My friends leave and I go downstairs. I am happy as I get out my paints. 
yellow, red, black, and white, I think about all of the wonderful colors I will make. And I say their names out loud. Cinnamon, chocolate, and honey, coffee, toffee, and butterscotch. They sound so delicious. At last, my pictures are done and I painted everyone. Look, mom, I say, the colors of us. Friends, what do you think of these beautiful paintings? Okay, parents, for an activity that you could pose with your students after um, watching and reading this book that we just read, you can pose these two sentences to your kids and ask them to respond. My skin is great because, let them fill in the blank, and my, I love my friend's skin because, and let them fill in the blank. Then I'd suggest your kids repeating these sentences either with you or separately. You can also gather M&Ms or brown eggs and white eggs and crack them open to show kids how regardless of what we may look like on the outside, we are all the same on the inside. And that's what matters. Until next time, parents, I hope you can use these lessons and these activities to spark conversations about beauty in your families and communities. I'd like you to read another book or two with concepts about kindness and friendship. We will post more language lesson videos soon. You could also write down the positive affirmations from our activity and post them in places where your kids will see them often. Until next time, thank you so much for watching. Bye everyone.